You are watching Revelations. We are the biggest spiritual platform. I, we help ourselves to learn here on this particular platform. My name is Mami Grace. I am Revelations. And today I am here with Papa Osofu Kofi Che Ahaji. We are winning. We are winning the best out of him. And he is a very good person. He is a very good He is learned. And I know you love him, and you will learn something when he sits on this set. Once again, I welcome you to the biggest spiritual papa platform. Papa, I welcome you to Revelations platform. Papa, thank you. You are teaching us about other Asian Kemet or Egyptian Kemet. I don't know which one is correct. We want to know about the Kemet. Thank you. I will talk about Kemet. Or Kerma. There are those who think that uh, anything pronounced in the original language of the world is a taboo to them. Especially in this our setting we call the country of Ghana. Hmm. Unfortunately, people have assumed the status of being judges in uh, linguistics. And when you see how appointments are going on now, you will see that one particular linguistic group is dominating virtually everything, which is uh, not quite palatable. But when we come to look at the names of the kings of ancient Kemet, then you come to look at the invasions which occurred leading up to the Greco Roman invasion. Then uh, we have uh, people we call judges, justices. And then the justices, when you go to the law school, you're going to learn what? You're going to learn Latin. They will be teaching you Latin. Say, Keteris, Paribus, and all these things in Latin. But then you ask yourself, where did they get the judicial languages from? Who were those who wrote the first laws? They tell you in the Christian philosophy or theory that uh, Moses went and climbed the Sinai hill and went and took the Ten Commandments from God, who was in a burning bush, isn't it? And then the Ten Commandments, when you look in the 42 laws, 42 negative confessions of the ancient commissions, you will see that the Ten Commandments are all in there. In our society, we abhor violence. We abhor Killings. In the ancient scripts, they told you, thou must not kill. And then it comes to, to the Christian Bible, they say, thou shall not kill. They say, anything which has been offered to the gods or the deities, don't go and take it. Whatever belongs to your neighbor, belongs to your neighbor, not to you. So you have no right to go and take those ones. And there are 42 negative confessions. You have to confess that you will not do these things. When you do it, you must have your punishment. And what do you see today? They know that the thing they are going to do is not correct. They will do it. Then the ancient commissions captured all this information. And it was taken away to Turin. And they called it the Turin Judicial Papyrus. What has been written on the black man's land by the black man in the temples? They have taken all that one and presented as their own. So now you're going to learn law. You must go and learn someone else's language. You want to speak one law, you are going to make reference to some British judgment or something. What of your own? Have you taken care of what you have? 
God is not discriminated. The creator never discriminated against anybody. Apart from the black man who thinks that he has been discriminated against. The construction of uh, airplane was done by the black man. But what did they tell us? They told us that uh, Icarus brothers from Greece, they were those who waxed feathers to their arms and launched the world into the aviation age just a hundred and something years ago. Then the Americans also came and said the Wright brothers were those who went and climbed uh, some of the Rocky Mountains, worked feathers to their arms, and launched the world into the aviation age some hundred and something years ago. Then they came again. The Italians came and said, uh, Leonardo da Vinci was the first person to have flown an engine plane about 200 years ago. But then you go into the records and you will see that the ancient Commissions have flown wooden glider, flying in the wooden glider. Then they said they were flying in what? Yamavu, the vehicle which flies in the air. And that was about 2,000 years ago. You go to the Egyptian museum, you will see the sea-going vessel. And they call it Tojivu. Right? It's Tojivu because it moves on water. And they added the third one. Which is the third one? Transport system. You have the air. You have the water. You have a third one. The third one is the natural one. You walk. Walking is the natural form of movement. Well, we have abandoned that one because we all want to be flying and be dancing in semicircles. And as for motorbike, it is also a car, so you don't worry so much. But the three major forms. Either you go by air, you go by water, or you go by foot. And our ancestors were footing. All the exodus traveling and all this, they did on foot. Why are they able to change all these things and we have accepted them? Like I was asking you about uh, the issue of so-called slave trading. When I come to your house and I'm holding AK-47, I say, oh, everything that you have, give it to me. Will you refuse? The gun has the power. Okay. Nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to die, mm -hmm. but you all want to go to heaven. But you can't go to heaven without dying. Hmm? I want to die in my own time, Papa. Who gave you some time to die? Everybody will die. Are we not going to die one day? You say you want to die at your own time. And when my God-given time is, is... God uh, drew a timetable for you. Papa, are we not going to die one day? No, I'm asking you. Papa, are you God. the host? No, oh, I'm the hostess. <laughs> <laughs> you see that uh, there is this thing called uh, the Aussie Wrinkles Papyrus. When immediately they talk about papyrus, you should know where it comes from. Hmm? It comes from uh, Kermer. Papyrus is a plant which grows in a uh, flooding area. So when you move from the Abyssinian highlands and coming up to the delta, and before we read there, see that we were talking about names. Mm. Then they call some place Mesopotamia. Mm. They call others Babylon. Babylon was a military camp. You know that one. Mm. Mm. And when those uh, African Americans sang their song, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat when we remembered Siam. Where are the rivers? They will tell you Tigris and uh, Euphrates. 
two rivers merging into one to enter into the sea. He said that is the rivers of Babylon. But where you have seven branches of a river entering into the sea, how would you call that one? Hmm. Hmm? That should be the true rivers of Babylon. And when you read the Romanus Pontifex, you will be seeing that the issue they are bringing up is coming close home to you. But you don't believe that one because you have been given some black book. We, now we have some red colors of the book. Some are green and some... And they call that one the Holy Bible, which is supposed to contain the words of God. But only they can tell you where they met God and he wrote that thing for them. Which type of pen that God used in writing, they won't tell you. So these British people went to the Southern River Valley and they found first uh, Ptolemy Philadelphus II. Hmm? They tell you when Ptolemy was being installed as the king of the Lower Egypt, hmm? they said he is being installed and he has become a king. He married a woman first. Then later on, he came and married his own biological sister. Why? He married his own biological sister who was Cleopatra the seventh. Hmm? Cleopatra the seventh was the concubine of the late Julius Caesar. And she gave a birth, birth to a child for Julius Caesar, known then as Caesarus. After Julius Caesar was killed, she married Mark Antony, gave birth to four children. Then came and married their own brother. And they said it was in accordance with the culture of the place. And that culture of the place was that when you are born as a man and you have a woman following you, that is your wife. Right? Hmm. In the every language, they will tell you, I don't like the people who talk about paleo and all these things because I don't understand that English. In the every language or culture, they will tell you, that is your nostril. Your mother's wife he has given to you. Is you, it still happening? No. Because we have been uh, misdirected to think that that was a wrong thing. Then you go and marry somebody from outside somewhere. Then the next moment blows. You throw blows. Uh, the woman to say no. This time we are in a women's lib. So I won't agree. I won't allow you to even go and uh, have any concubine anywhere. But she cannot take all the thing. What thing? The rod of Moses. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Which you, rod of Moses? You, wa you want to know what thing? Yes. Yeah, I've told you. <laughs> huh? What was the name of that Ghanaian musician? Or what is his name? Amy Crenshaw. <laughs> oh? Yo, yo, what, yo, was yo. that not what he said? I don't remember. Oh, but you remember the name. <laughs> hmm? Now they tell you that uh, <laughs> we will come to a more serious one about the origin of that thing you call the Bible. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Where did they get the information from? I have already proven to you that Moses could not have written the Bible because at that time he was not there. Like one of our politicians here, you and I were not there. Moses too was not there. So Moses could not have written about things he hadn't seen. Agree? Mm. Now, they said that Ptolemy Philadelphus commissioned 72 or 70 intellectual Jews to transcribe the Torah. 
we have spoken about afajato, and I have made you understand that uh, the to means heal, isn't it? Now, when you are telling me that there was a Torah, and we know that Ra is the sun energy, and the To is a mountain or a hill, but since it is in uh, a tonal language, a To could be your ear. A To could be passed this way. A To could be your in-law. So you have all these interpretations of the T-O. When you have T-S-I, Chi, is water. Chi is delayed. Chi equally means to put off some light or something. So you are having the tonal expression. Whatever the pitch of what you say will tell you a different meaning. So, they said that Ptolemy Philadelphus got 70 intellectual Jews to come and sit in the great library of Alexandria and uh, to capture or transcribe what their tutor, supposed to be Moses, taught them in the temples. And uh, what name did they give to themselves? Ptolemy said they were the Septuagint, the 70 intellectual Jews. They were to transcribe what Moses had taught them. They first claimed that no manuscript was given to them. Then they said the Spirit of God went through the 70 cubicles, putting the same ideas into the heads of all these intellectuals. And so they also transcribed the same thing that the Spirit of God had taught them. And that gave us the Bible. Right? And the Bible has how many books? 66 books. Supposed to be 66. And you will see a crocodile. A crocodile will live for 66 years. Lay 66 eggs. Every 10. Now, when these intellectual Jews, the 70 of them were kept there and they came out with uh, their own translations of what Moses had taught them. What comes after that? There was no manuscript. But these British people went down 162 kilometers away from Alexandria and they found the manuscripts which were used on a dunghill. Hmm? As if that was not sufficient. I will show you a page. You see the page. See that nobody can bring this information out and claim it to be the truth. Hmm? Now let me take this Septuagint manuscript. Can you transcribe this thing? Or this, this one on a more serious note. Look at it. The papyrus. This was the Old Testament. How can you conjure information for those places which are missing? And when you take the New Testament to, you have certain portions which are missing. Then the British, when they went, they found the Os Osirinkus papyrus. And the Osirinkus papyrus was telling them that the manuscripts were sound, found 162 kilometers away from where the things were supposed to be happening. So who carried the papyrus from Alexandria and brought it further down south? You should not be surprised that you have lower Egypt on the delta of the Nile and upper Egypt in the belly of the Nile. So the delta of the Nile, they call that place Tom. Either it is the ear inside the ear, 
Now you have a Tashi down south. You have a Nubia. You've heard of Nubia. Nubia simply means envy or jealousy. When you are jealous of somebody, oh, you are involved in uh, enviness or Nubia. So you have a Nubia up till today in the Nile Valley. Mm -hmm. You have a Sada which has been changed into Sudan. And then the people of the south of Sudan are telling you that they are not part of the Arabic culture. And here we have reached. We are not seeing the truth about ourselves, but we allow other people to come and tell us what they think that God said to them. When I raise my two hands like this, what will be the meaning? Hmm? I have nothing. Huh? I have nothing. Okay. No, not that you have nothing. This is the car. The symbol of the car. Hmm? Now you have the ka and the ba. And you have the kaba. It's a black rock. So we got out from this country and we flew a line and went down to Israel, Israel, to go and buy a rock to come and build a cathedral. Creating the impression that the creator of the universe lives in a house somewhere, which is a lie. If the creator of the universe is a spirit, and according to the book of the beginning, he is the spirit of all spirits, then you can't build a house for him or for her. There has been this discrimination against the women. Every time they say God is a man, but that is not correct. A man never gives birth. It's a woman who gives birth. A woman will take the fluid and keep it for nine months and bring out bones and flesh and then the spirit. But now we give all the praises to the man. Hmm. But the man does nothing. Only have the stick. Yes, and uh, it stares the, down there and brings out some fluid. And that's all. Yeah, he goes and comes back and crosses the leg and uh, sweating. Adwa, oh, you haven't cooked yet? What have you been doing all this time? Forgetting that uh, they have to clean up the place and. When everything has been done, he has finished eating, Adwa will collect all the plates and wash them. Make sure the children go to sleep. Meanwhile, the man is uh, happily sleeping, only waiting for the woman to come and receive the rod of Moses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and receive the rod of Moses. I am here with Osofu Kofite Ahazi, and we are talking about the Kemet. The Egyptian Kemet or the Asian Kemet? Papa, this No, there Kemet, is no a ancient Kemet. Uh -huh, that's what I'm coming yeah. at. This thing, the Kemet thing we are talking about, yes. it's very important to Africans. Okay. Very important because... Are Africans prepared to know their origin? That's what I'm, I'm ready, I'm, I'm coming to ask you. Okay. How... They, they are talking about it, especially when you go to South Africa. They yeah. are taking this seriously serious, talking about the time. And mm -hmm. they are even bringing out, um, I do a little tour in the Kemet. I had advantage to go okay. there. They have some ratings on the wall yeah. um, where uh, they, there are parts even they believe that that was Mary and Jesus on the wall. The, this very old wall. Is, yeah. the, the, huh. And they believe that everything in the Bible was stolen from the Kemet. Yes. And now they are even saying that African time or Africa calendar is also being changed. But you don't know that one? No, we, we, because we are learning. I said I had advantage to go to there, go there and to and make a that. little tour about okay. the place. You are going, so, you didn't call me. <laughs> now, this is my question. So Kemet is very important to 
Africans or every, everybody black now. So my question is this. These things are important to them, us. We've lost it. Now, we are not making more research. It's the, these same people that we claim or believe stole this right from us. These are the same people who are making research and bringing out this information. How do we know whether they are bringing us the right information? And what can we do to get the accurate information for our future uh, children? Mm. That's very easy. Because the sages in the temples said so they, uh, they knew a time was going to come when people will try to change the information they have left behind. These people are searching. What are they doing now? They're going down into the bottom of the uh, Aswan Dam to bring out some of the things they have thrown back there. We had the same problem in this uh, country called Ghana. When we built the Akosombo Dam, what they did not do to the people living around? All the historical records and agricultural developments you know, were kept there. And they, it got flooded. Then the Canadian Prime Minister came and said he had won a contract to come and cut those trees in the lake. He cut the trees and do what with the trees? He will export. He will make money. He knows the value of those trees which have been in the belly of uh, the Akosombo Dam. The same thing they did in... Uh, in Kemet or Kemet in the Southern Valley. Now they have to be lifting those things. But they knew you can cover up the history. But the sages have written in the temple walls, the, in the pyramid, everything. They said they wrote first. They wrote about nine inches into the wall. Then they plastered it. So when you have come and you have taken the surface information and you said, yes, um, Adam and Eve and all these things, you create those stories. But the story itself is there. Because mm, you see them huge on the walls with images. Yes. But then I wanted to take a, a bring a picture of uh, a dwarf. But I tried to print it out and uh, my machine was playing the mess. When you ask somebody, have you seen a dwarf before? He says, no, no, no. So I took a friend and I said, come and see a dwarf. Then he's on my computer. Then he said, ah, but this could be a short man. I said, look at the feet, the knee of the person he is standing by. The person is back somewhere here and he is standing here, and you see that he is about 18 inches. A male and a female. What the principle used in the building of the pyramids, up till today, they can't understand. All the architects and all, they cannot understand. Then they attribute it to some uh, people from external places coming onto earth. But this pharaoh, when the pharaohs were standing around, they will always enjoy when a dwarf is brought. Because a dwarf can perform so many things. A rock you cannot carry, a dwarf will carry it. Hmm? I went on a trip to Krachi in Kwanta or whatever they call it. Then I went and climbed a hill. No car should go there. No motorbikes should go there. I went and climbed and went up there. Then I asked the priests who were gathered there. They have been told that there is a hill by Ho. That hill was brought there by the, the king or whoever came. He was mentioning that master's name. And that hill was carried from there and brought it down to who? Hmm. I say, yes, it's possible. 
You know, there is a scientific theory they call the, the science of levitation. You have heard it on your program mm -hmm. before. By levitation, you rise and it's the same words of power you utter to rise. You can utter the same words of power to the rock to move. So when uh, you give the command, the rock will obey. So people will see that you are carrying the rock, but you are not carrying it. It's the words of power you have used, which is moving the rock. At places, uh, people will not see that, oh, the rock is attached to you. But when it reached the place, if today, today, today you go there, buildings around that hill, the hill will decide to shake itself a bit, and you see the cracks on the buildings. And it's telling you that the powers that you need to do those things, there are powers which have been given to you, but you don't want to use them because you have gone to some miseducational institution to miseducate you and you think that, oh yes, you are all right. You are not. You don't know yourself. So the mystics will tell you, man, know thyself. Who are you? Mm. And who are you? Mm -hmm. And who do you want to be? If you don't know that one, you will dance in semicircles all the time. You go, ah, then you come back to the same point because you have not yet identified yourself. You, you have not yet identified yourself. You are watching Revelations. My name is Mami Grace. I'm here with Osofu Kufichaji. Papa, so um, do you think at this age, I know you've done a lot of research. Yeah. And I know you've done a lot of things, so you know Africa, and you are not a child. So from when you were like 25 years, and comparing when you were like 25 years till now, do you think Africans are gaining their consciousness now? At a very, very fast rate. Wow. Very fast rate. Yesterday I had a call from, <laughs> what country is that? And he said he has been watching my YouTube videos and I said, hey, and that's the first country I have, I've been getting calls and all these things, but that part, no, yeah, from uh, just here, Cameroon. He called me, he says he doesn't know my name. He sent a message, I don't know your name, but all the things you have been teaching, I've been sharing with the anthropologists and others they came up. I am not anybody. You can achieve what you want to achieve. If you have the faith in yourself, the problem of Africa is that we want to look outside of ourselves. We want to borrow people's noses to smell. We want to borrow people's eyes to see and their brains to think, their ears to hear. You will never make it. When you want to borrow, you will never make it. Be yourself. Know who you were in the beginning who you are now and who you want to be tomorrow. That is the only solution to Africa's problems. When uh, the French President Macron calls on African leaders to help him to overthrow the Malian military junta, what did the Malian say? Say, if you come, they will carry your corpses and bring back to whichever country you come from. Hmm? Africa will not like to help a fellow African. Africans are divided between Europe, America, China, and... So, Papa, do you think this thing will ever change? How we hate ourselves? We hate you, our You uh, will hate yourselves. No, like, you know Africans. Let me use the word blacks. Mm -hmm. We don't love our neighbor, our neighbors. Do you think that mindset will ever change? Our selfishness, our greediness and all that. Do you think these behaviors will ever change? They must change. And they will change. Amen. 
nobody can prevent the change. Everything passes away, but the only thing which is permanent is change. Mm. Mm. Change must come. Mm. Mm. You can load a whole lot of military weapons and all this. When the change is coming, you can't stop it. When it's time, it's time. The time has come. Mm. <coughs> and we must be ready to seize the opportunity and liberate ourselves from all these foreign names. Mm. If you continue, when they call John and you look there, but you are not John. You have your name. When they call Peter, you turn. You are not Peter. You were born, you were given a name. Why do you abandon your name? People are coming to realize that they must take their own names because in their names, they have power. Mm. When you go and call somebody's name, attack to yourself, you say you are Charles. Then uh, Accra Brewery will make uh, the Charles beer and say, Charlie, Charlie, and you are responding to it. The girls have a beautiful name for our alcohol. When I used to have some Russian teachers, when they came to our school, what do they drink? They don't drink vod vodka again. They will drink a peteoshi. They have it in their fridges. They will have the apeteoshi cubes in their fridges. Then when it comes to rest, no apeteoshi is demeaning. Hmm? We want champagne. We want this. You are not getting anywhere until we get back to what is ours. I don't know if you have remembered the story of Amadala. Hmm? Amadala was a fishing vessel at Tema Harbor. Mm -hmm. Tema mm -hmm. Fishing Harbor. Mm -hmm. You remember that story? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they were going to commission a fishing vessel, the archbishop or the bishop and all his big people they went with the convoy and they threw the champagne it hit the vessel broke then they clapped then the traditionalist went and poured his libation and they all sat in the vessel to cruise around and come just as they are approaching the breakwaters then there was this terrible storm and you hear the shout, Jesus, Jesus. The traditional priest called his associates to hold themselves. And one should hold his red. And they disappeared from the vessel. They were on dry ground. And the Jesus shouted, shouted Jesus, ah, until they sank into the water. Uh, that thing, I thought they said it was Mandela. It was rather Amadela. Amadela. Oh, okay. That's the name of the vessel. Hmm? So they tell you that which has been given to you, don't look at what has been given to somebody. It was not given to you. It's been given to you. You have yours. And you don't want that one. You want to go and take somebody's Jesus. That Jesus does not know you. He will never die for you. So what is my own? Who knows what? Me? What have you got in your house? My house? Yes. A house. You don't have anything at all in your house? No. Oh. Then you are coming from a restaurant or something. <laughs> hey. Papa. Black? In Africa? Uh -huh. Or because you are a Christian? So you don't believe in the things that your ancestors have left for you? If they didn't leave anything for me. Who says? You don't come from a house. I come from, uh, I, 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 I was given bed by someone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In a house. Uh -huh. So they didn't pray for you. They carried you from the hospital or whatever, then straight to the church. <laughs> yes, I baptize you in the name of Jesus and all. That one does nothing. The one which has power is the one you do in your house. Let them pour their libation and call their ancestors to guide you on your journey through life. That is my, oh, that is what I have. Yes, that is your house. You have parents. 
Yes. You have grandparents. Mm -hmm. You have grand grandparents. Mm -hmm. they, don't they exist? Some of, the, some of them are dead. They, they left their flesh, mm. but they are still around. Oh, okay. If you call them, they will respond. Oh, okay. If you don't call them, don't blame them. Oh, okay. Hmm? Okay, I understand. You can play several centuries back. If you can get your ancestors' names. I, I, if, even if they didn't know me, if they didn't, I didn't come to meet them, can I, I still pray and call them? Papa, you think you, think you don't know them. I didn't but they know them. you. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm? Okay. They can't forget their lineage. They have a lineage. The genealogy, I set out to investigate my genealogy, where I came from, what happened, and all this. I've compiled that one down. But I'm not uh, compiling it like uh, your king has done from Adam. Who was Adam? Where did he meet Adam? And he says he's the 94th generation of Adam. That is his. <laughs> so you were listening? <laughs> You take the book, <laughs> they call the Bible as giving you the Adam story. Herodotus said, the people who lived in that area possessed the powers of divination to interpret the will of God. And that will of God interpretation gives you the science of divination. Hmm? You see, the weather is clear, so you don't need light outside there to see. Mm -hmm. When the weather is dark, you need light. So the clear weather is half of the equation. The dark weather is the other half of the equation. When you bring the two together, you will get the full equation solved. You are a woman. You are flesh. And you have a, the other one which is not flesh. You call that one the spirit. The alter ego. That one, if it is out of you, they say your flesh is dead. But that one never dies. Mm -hmm. You can go, you, they say that you are dead. Some people will be crying here, hey, Mommy Grace is dead and not. Someone will be coming from outside there, and will meet you on the way. Who we'll greet you and say, Oh, I'm going to see somebody around the end. By reaching this junction, sees people crying. And say, Oh, what is happening? So, oh, Mommy Grace has passed on. So, oh, but I just spoke to her now. How will you see that person? You think he's crazy. Mm -hmm. But he has met you. Okay. So, Papa, these dead people think that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. Can anyone call his or her ancestors or they dem he demands a special person to call them? If you want to call your ancestor, I should come and tell you. Do I know them? But me too, I don't know them. I didn't you know you. them. Oh. You know their name. No. Oh, okay, okay. Just pour it down and call their name. And they will respond. You don't need to go to any university. Our culture is not the one taught in the schools. Hmm. And why is it not in schools? Why? Why are we because not? Because the schools, when they teach you, the colonialists who brought the education system has a program to prevent you from knowing yourself. So when you go to the school, early in the morning they will say assembly. And they will say that uh, in the name of Jesus, the Father, and all this rubbish. You go and learn all that one. Then you come back empty. So you become right reverend professor, doctor, this. Useless. Ah. Yeah. Papa will what, never make what, this interview interview. It's what are you interview. doing? Why are you becoming a right reverend professor in somebody's consciousness, what he has taught and written down, then you are copying it. 
By what you have been given, you have left it. You think that the creator of the universe discriminates? Hmm. The creator does not discriminate. If the creator does not discriminate, what has been given to you, be proud of it. Papa, hmm. uh -huh. um, uh -huh. I want to ask you about African time that has been changed. By you yourself. Uh, you say I'm asking you questions. <laughs> but when you say you are telling us that uh, we are in year 2022, mm -hmm. right? But when they are talking, they will say, oh, 6,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, a million years ago. Who were we when they were coining all these things? And uh, just to be very straight, the cycle of the lunar month is how many days? If you don't know, I will help you. You start ca calculating. You see when the moon first appears. And after how many days it goes off. Then when the moon first appears, go to the beach and look at the waves. Look at the rise of the tidal waves. And when it goes down, it will take 28 days. The 28 days will give you how many months in a year? 13 months. The Egyptians, uh, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Romans, uh, they all keep to the 13 months. And they come and tell us, oh, some months are more than 28 days. And they confuse you and you believe it. And they told you that Jesus will be coming back in 2,000 years. And you have passed the 2,000 by 22. And you are still believing in his coming because they have changed your date. Your calculation of time, everything has been changed. When you are here at this time of the day and you go to Japan, what are you seeing there? Mm -hmm. It is night. So why do you, we in the center, we don't determine the time for those people. Hmm. They determine time for us. And we think that we are developing. Asemu. Sad. We are not developing. So, Papa, can we? we I sometimes, I, 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 I'm sometimes sad because when you read a bit, you know that Africa is the only continent. Say, Omo close baby, we don't need anything from anybody. Why should you need? When but all the treasures you want are given to you. Everything. We don't need anything from anybody. But we are the ones suffering. So, I sometimes ask myself, where are we going to start from? Are we, we, are going, are to we start going to be okay one day? You see, you have asked a very, very beautiful question. You will be okay in one day if you decide to recognize who you are and don't continue parading as Mami Grace. You have a name. Let them call you by your name and you will have the power you need. But if you want to be dancing around with somebody's name, what but grace are you? I have my name and I have that name too. Uh -uh. Uh. You cannot neutralize the power. <laughs> you have been given power and you want to neutralize it. People, should we change the name? Because I throw our comment sessions and I say we should change the name. I have a native name. Should we change the name? What is native? That's question. The name my mother and my father gave to me. That is your name, not your native name. So what do we call that one? Hmm? What do we call that, that name? That is your name. It's not a native name. How can you call yourself a native when that is your original name and you call somebody's name as yours? Are you, are you the one hosting the show right now? You said it's your native name. But I'm the host. 
you are the hostess. <laughs> Uh, the only thing is that you have put on some long flowing hair, <laughs> and my head is Sakura. <laughs> Otherwise, how can you say that? Papa, on your the natural more, name, eh, the natural, natural name, name that give, given to you by your parents. My parents, I was born on Friday. Yes, so, Efua. Efia. Efia. And they named me Shika. So my name is Efia Shika. And That's the, my and name. Then, and they added the grace as my Christian. No, 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 no. There should be another name. Desika, no. my father's name in addition. Uh -huh. My father's name is Opoku. Yes. So, so if you are Sika Opoku, Opoku. And if you want to do at the modern uh, Ghanaian women, then if you are Sika Opoku, and your, then you add your mother's name, or your mother's name comes, then your father's name. So when they ask you, who are you? Oh, I'm if you are Sika Opoku. Or oh, are you Mr. Opoku's daughter? And you say yes. But if you go calling yourself Grace, Grace from where? No. Be yourself. Fela Anikulapo Kuti said, then they follow, follow them, close them eyes. Hmm? When you they follow and you close your eyes, you will fall into a ditch. When you follow and close your eyes, you will fall into a ditch. Papa, I'm giving you five minutes. Yes. I'm not going to interrupt you at all. Hey. I want you to speak into the spirit, the soul of Ghanaian youth. Honestly, they are it? going through troubles. Unemployment is difficult for them, honestly. I want you to speak uh, words of hope into their system, their energies, into their, so give them hope. At your age, I believe when you speak into their system, they would, some of them will have some kind of peace. They are struggling. What is the name of that man? He says Exodus is the movement of the Jar people. They must recognize themselves. What is happening, going wrong now is that we are looking out of ourselves for somebody to do for us that which we must do for ourselves. You go around and you see plants growing. When I was at Sakaman, there is a plant which grows. And uh, we, it's just like uh, mostly on uh, refuse dumps. Then I saw these Koreans. They stay in just around. They will come and take these plants and go. I said, ah, what do these people do with this plant? Then some uh, African Canadian said, that is what they use in preparing soup. Hmm. Then here we don't mind it. We have everything. But we want somebody to employ us so that at the end of the month, he will give us some peanuts. If you want to live as an employee, you will just be regaining backwards into slavery. We see all the things happening, everything that we need, you will have. You go to Barbados and they take a spoonful of sand, sea sand, and put it into a polythene and make the cupid arrow on it. If you go there, you are a tourist, they will sell it to you, one dollar. Don't we have the sea here? But go to Teshi Beach and see. It's so nasty. Even if you go to Israel here, Tiberias, that sea, Tiberias, go and see how they've made the place. Tiberias here. And what are you doing? You are waiting for somebody to come and do it for you. I went to my village last year. We went. There's a Black Bull Festival we celebrate. So we did the first one in uh, the group. We did the second one in the master's house. The third one, we went to the village. And I organized the people. We, after having done the ritual sacrifice of the bull, I organized the people and said, clear this place. Then I went and bought calico. One full piece calico. We encircled 
the baobab tree with it. Then put the master's image on it. There was so, so much reservation. People were complaining and all these things. Then there was a lady working at uh, Sugakofa Hospital. She went and she saw the thing. She said, what a beautiful thing. She organized the drummers. Those old people, drummers, they came and sat down and they shot the video. I said, well, who has done this wonderful thing? And when I was called and told, I said, ah, but you people said it's bad. Hmm. They said, ah, but we didn't know. So now we are tra transforming that place into a meditational center. Oh. We have everything that, what water don't we have? Hmm. We have water bodies, except for the western region where they have spoiled their water bodies with this galamse. You have all the water bodies we need. We have uh, something they call the Red Sea somewhere. But when you are going to you Akati... Pay to, you pay to go and, and, and... Yes, but when you are going to Akati, we have uh, the Red River. They call it Toji. It flows from the... Petway Hills and comes to pass through Akachi and enters into the lagoon. And the lagoon, it flows and enters. But what are we seeing? The Chinese have got some place, they are doing fish farming there. The Indians have got a place where they are winning salt. Who says we can't win salt on our land? Who says we can't rare fish? But our rare guard leaders. They are leading from behind. We are in front. And that's the problem with the youth. Those who must tell them, please, don't think that the grasses growing are useless. You can get something out of it. Find out what you can do. Aloe vera grows widely. But we don't respect aloe vera. We don't respect cactus. You know cactus? Yes, cactus. Mm. Leaving Casablanca to go to the airport, you see the cactus farm. What are we doing with cactus? Nothing. <sighs> what are we doing with aloe vera? If you have a saw now, there is a cut, and you take aloe vera and you rub around it, in some few minutes' time, it is healed. You won't see any trace. But here we are. Everything that we want, we have. COVID comes, and they say we must put on masks. Meanwhile, COVID is flu. It cannot stand the sun. But some white man says something, so we have to believe. Let us have faith in ourselves. Then we can move forward. The youth can get out of their desperation when they believe that they can do this or that. Ancient Egypt or Kemet, then Abyssinia. What were they doing? You go to Agbozuma. When you are leaving Agbozuma, heading towards the border, you will see these green papyri plants growing. Formerly, they were using it in uh, constructing their fences and their attached roof. But now, oh, we don't need that one. We need a roofing, roofing sheet. sheet. Roofing sheet. Why? The things which are with you, you are not using it. And you go to these places, China and all that, and that's what they've used in roofing there. You go to Tanzania, I was in mm. Dar es Salaam. We went and we were put into a concrete structure. Even Angola then, here. Then you go to just about hey. 100 meters from the main building, you have these touch roofs there. And the whites, when they come, they go inside that one. You go to Harare, you go up. In the white people's farms, they have constructed their shelters in the trees. Mm. You go to the Rift Valley in Kenya. You see mm -hmm. they are drinking mm -hmm. sports, everything mm, up there. They don't there. need air conditioning for anything. Now we sit down here. Ah. We want air con. There was a, was a director of one of the agencies in Ghana, and uh, he had 11 air conditioners in his two-bedroom house. Hey! He's a gentleman. 
11 air condition. 11 air condition. Yo, Papa, you're fine. So, the youth must know that it's not a question of uh, being future leaders. They must be the present leaders. They must do things for themselves. They should not sit down and wait for somebody to do for them. Nobody is going to do it for you because that person also has dependents. He wants to take care of them. You want him to leave his dependents and come and take care of you. You will have to start. And if there is any help, the person will come and help you. Thank you so much, Papa, for coming. Thank you so much. We are grateful. With Thank all you your busy me. schedules, when we call you, you are here with us to educate us. Thank you so much for coming. If you don't help yourself... Nobody is going to help you. Nobody is going to help you. By Let's help ourselves. Inami Wawanyo. Same time next week, Revelations will come your way with another episode. Akrawate. <laughs>